Part 1. How to make a Japanese sand garden. The basics. This is going to be a two-part series. Nothing very fancy, just uh, very basic. First, you have to lay down the sand. So you buy bags of sand, or I would actually recommend you get a truckload of sand. And uh, this would be cheaper if you got like a pickup truckload of sand. The sand garden will stretch all the way over there. As you can see, it's not ready. We need about 15 more bags of sand there. Sand costs about five bucks a bag. And we're looking probably close to 15 bags to finish this off. Now we just put down about seven, I believe it was seven bags. 50 pound bags. I use seven. So that's the bag. And that's about in that little area there is seven bags. What are we looking at? There's one, two, I don't know. It's about a at least a 10 by 10 area. So we got about a 10 by 10 area here. Now in the end we're going to be using a, a rake, a really fine rake. But I guess we could use brooms. So I guess the whole process you could use brooms. If you had the right type of brooms. But it's really just a very sensitive, artistic touch. And it's going to be hard for me to do it holding the camera. But I just want to give you an idea. Once you put the bags down, you have to gently and monotically brush the sand and then we'll go into patterns. Once we get it all flat, the first step is to get it all flat and then the Japanese use different types of rakes and uh, we're going to experiment with different types of brooms the Americana way, the Americana way. So anyhow, you see what it looks like here now and uh, let's make it back up a little bit I'm going to go to work with it on the broom. So that's after I've laid down seven bags. So here we are in part one of the elevated sand garden. As you can see, this uh, sand garden is going to be elevated. A little bit, this is all has to be cleaned up here. Excuse the mess. But as you can see, it's elevated. In a patio a patio setting the elevated sand garden like I said we need about 15 20 bags to finish up over on this section now this is a 10 by 10 section believe it or not we're gonna need a few more bags here I feel, I feel like it's pretty lumpy but what I, before I go I just want to let you know I found it easier to go in half circles go and go around in like a half circle motion you get better results I think in the beginning you can go straight in the beginning but uh, again half moon circles and uh, that's good for now this is just a part one I'm gonna add a few more bags of sand to this and then we're gonna try to maybe get a fine rake or a better, a better bloom, better bloom, bloom, <laughs> and we'll finish this up in uh, part two. We'll go into more detail in part two. 
Now, just before I let you go, this type of sand here, this is construction sand. You're probably wondering what's wrong, how this sand is different. This sand was cheaper, the construction sand. As you know, I got latex underneath there, latex paint. So I used the cheaper construction sand on the first layer. And since this play sand is about $5 a bag, that'll be the final icing on the cake of the, uh, the elevated sand garden. Ones. Here's the thing you might want to know about these big corporations. A lot of times the bags are open and they're leaking out. Uh, go ahead and tell them about that. They'll give you 50% off the price. If the bag is open and they're leaking, it's 50% off. So I got seven, seven bags that were leaking and ten bags that are good. First, you practice. You practice with uh, different circles, patterns, and you can change it all the time. So these are all just practice circles. I have to put thicker sand on there to get, uh, and I practice with, uh, it almost has an Indian design to it. Straight lines. So I'm going to put the uh, pagoda right in the middle, but you see the uh, area that the sand is not level right there. The sand is not level. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more sand right there in the middle, and we'll put the pagoda in there, and I'll show you my circle. Okay, so I got this other little broom, and I put a little bit more sand in here. So I'm just going to show you, first we have to make it level, and like I said, it's hard to do, it's hard to make it level holding the camera, but I'm just going to show you, it's an easy technique, you just use your broom, and we'll go over, and as soon as I make it level, I'll get, come back. Well, use whatever broom you have, I guess. I made it as level as I could. Now what I've noticed with these bags of sand is they have little white crystals in them. I thought about, I was throwing them away. I was tossing them, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them in there for now, because there's so many of them. So okay, this was my little practice circle. So we'll put the pagoda right in the middle. And I've got this little fork deal. And let's see if I can do this while I hold the camera. Just walk around. So how'd that turn out? Not really that good. So there, it does take a little bit of practice. Let's take a little bit of practice. And we'll just, uh, wow. That's not bad for the first couple, t first try. So what you do, you notice my footsteps? My footsteps are everywhere. So we get our broom back. And you just uh, sweep your footsteps away, leaving the, leaving the circle there. See the little white uh, crystals? I'm just going to leave the white crystal there. That was an experimental line there. No, you could, we could branch out these little experimental lines. We could branch them out like sun. Let's try that real quick while we're here. You could, uh, we'll get a picture of this first. But if you wanted to, I guess you could just do a little sunburst.
Oh. There's really no limit to your imagination on these things. As you can see, I'm just I'm just freestyling here. I'm just whatever comes to my mind. Now there's not enough sand there. You notice there's not enough sand on this one to get a good so I might have to go put more sand in. What do you think? Again, we'll take the footprints out of there. Take our footprints out of here. And um, that's what I'm trying to do is just give you an idea of what is possible. The elevated sand garden. Japanese sand garden. Now I know the Native American Indians do this and it's actually kind of cool, isn't it? Now I got, you can change your design anytime you want. You can practice. Uh, add sand. And uh, that's all I got, I guess. If, it, if this is popular, if you give the thumbs up and we go viral, maybe we'll do some more uh, more patterns.